Hey everybody, welcome back to the program. Today I'll be unboxing this brand new box set put out by Jag Jaguar. This is Epoch or Epoch, however you want to say it. And it chronicles the band that never was, Diarmond Edison. And I say that sort of, it's kind of tongue in cheek, but basically if you had never heard of them like me, I only heard about this band a couple of months ago, really maybe even just last month. Um, it's because the bands that came from this band are way more famous, Bon Iver and Megaphon. So uh, prior to those bands being formed, childhood group of friends got together and uh, they, they wanted, you know, they, obviously they made some music and this is the result of that. But um, through the years, most of this has never been released until now. I think they only put out one album when they were a band. Uh, and this is five LPs and four CDs plus a 120 page book that gives you the complete rise and fall of the band. It's a biography with tons of great photos, very well put together. And so I can't wait to show this to you. Let's open this puppy up, all right? So right away, we have a, what do you call this? A sleeve, basically, a, a box sleeve that houses all of the um, LPs, CDs, and book. This is put up by Jack Jaguar, 2023. And these are hand numbered, limited to 4,000 copies. As you can see here, I have 3,049th copy um, made in the Czech Republic. And uh, let's just take all this out and we're gonna, let's see, what is the best way to do this? You know what, we're gonna start with, we're just gonna go this direction. So we're gonna set these aside for now. And I think, okay, no, that's a little out of order here. Okay, so we're gonna start with record one here. This is All of Us Free. And there's the back, track listings, and then like, look at how much information you get. Not only do you get the book, but you get this whole write-up. And you get it on all of these sleeves, and it tells you like when it was recorded, where. This is all about Mount Vernon. And it tells you who was in it and also uh, Diarmon Edison and who's in that. And so it's like broken up into uh, the various um, groups and, and personalities. So this, was, this started in November of 1998. And this goes to July of 2005. Um, we have an inner sleeve here. There's the back. This is side A. And there is side B. All right, so that was one. Please don't fall down. <laughs> this is two. So this is Silent Signs. Here's the back. Recorded January through June of 2005 in Wisconsin. And this is Diarmon Edison. Again, a great write-up. There's the inner sleeve. There's the back. Second LP, side A. And side B. Ooh, that is, that is really pretty. I like the design of that. Really cool. Oh, look at this. I just noticed this too. It's all black on the inside. That's really neat. I love it. I love that small attention to detail. You, like, you don't have to put that in the printing. I wonder, was the other one? Ooh, the other one. Okay, I'm getting a little out of order here. So that, the other one was yellow. Cool. All right. Like that. All right, so that was two. So here we have three. That was then. You have two concerts, it looks like. Or it seems like there's a this residency, North Carolina Brickett Gallery residency. It looks like maybe there's two shows here because it's March 1st and April 22nd, 2006. And then we have a concert in Wisconsin, April 7th, 2006. Two CDs each. And there we are on the inside here. Um, pretty simple. And it's interesting to note that the CDs are different than the LPs, just to make note of that. And this, this right here is a download code, and this has um, 12 bonus tracks that are exclusive to this set that are totally unreleased and will not be released streaming. So if you want to hear these, this is the only way to get them, is, is through buying this box set. Here we have four, and this is... Epoch, etc. Here's the back. And this was recorded July 2005 through July 2006. Obviously off and on. There's the back of the sleeve. There's the front. 
Record four, side A, and side B. Oh yeah, and then the color is sort of an orange. Yeah, that's cool. So whatever this, um, what do they call that? Complementary color, contrasting color. Number five here, Hazeltons. I think that's how you say that. Uh, recorded July 2005 and 2006, or recorded July 2005 through May 2006 in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, and also Wisconsin. Okay, so this is looks like uh, early Bon Iver stuff on the inside. Kind of a black color. I love this. Uh, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> Half tone printing. I guess that's what that's called. I really like that look. All right, and here we have side A, and there's side B. The fifth LP, Where We Belong, recorded spring 2004 through April 2014. Okay, so we're, we're spanning a bit here. I guess they, they must have re, uh, reunited at some point. Okay, down here it says the four pieces split into two unequal configurations, but with time drift back towards a shared center. Each part has changed as well as the relationship between them, but the bond is as familiar as family. Side A. Side B. Really well done. I love the design. It's minimalistic, but it gets the job done. It's bold. It's graphic. It feels very um, warm and comforting. All right, so we got all the media out of the way. Let's check out the book here. So let me put these, slide these back in. And I haven't really had a chance to read through this. There's a lot in here, but what I'm gonna do is just kind of flip through it. If something jumps out at me. I might point it out, but otherwise, let you guys look along with me. All right, here we go. Bon Iver plays Raleigh, North Carolina, October 19th, 2019. The show that inspired this box set. Really cool. Must be in uh, Wisconsin. School belt buckle. Years, the ages will pass by, and here's the same. Don't even have to know why. My love for the bus has found a home with you Hesitate to say it cause I know that it's true And the sun takes the mist And evaporates into the late July evening Sun comes out just in time to go down I put it inside myself with the others that I'm keeping I Gotta say the feel of this paper is really nice too It's got a little bit of a texture. It's a matte finish. It's really nice. 
I think it adds to the warmth of this release. Cool, we got lyrics. And the empty parking lots illuminate the smallest corner of the sky. And the rest is wonderful in the country night. So yeah, I am very impressed with this box set. Obviously, this is perfect for any super fans out there, but if you're unfamiliar with the band or you're kind of new to them or you've only kind of heard them, I highly encourage you to check out their music, especially if you're a fan of alternative country, folk, Americana, that sort of early 2000s sound. You know what I'm talking about. This has that in spades. Plus, um, if you do end up picking the box set up, it is really well done, and I have to say, it retails for 130 bucks, which that's US dollars, by the way. And I think that's a fantastic deal. And it really is a loving tribute to this band that probably most people haven't even heard of, unless you're, like I said, a super fan. With all that said, I wanna thank you all so much for watching, but I especially wanna thank my members over on Patreon. I'm your Vinyl Geek, and I'll catch you on the flip side.